Hey, this is just about like what we did before. This one is called volume of rational links. Looks like this, and in the top corner it says geometry seven. So we're using the same thing, volume equals length times width times height. It says formula, they give you V equals BH. If you wanna put for the formula, V equals BH, then go right ahead. If it were me, I would be doing length times width times height because otherwise you have to find out your V first, then go back and plug it in. Just do length times width times height all the way across there. Okay, so that's our formula. So V equals what's your length? How long is it? It says it's nine centimeters. How wide is it? Six centimeters. How tall is it? 4.5 centimeters. So volume equals nine times six is 54 centimeters squared times 4.5 centimeters. Volume equals 54 times 4.5 is 243 centimeters cubed. You're gonna do the same thing for the next one. Length times width times height. Use the same formula right here. On the back, on number five, it says a closed dresser is the shape of a rectangular prism. The dresser has a height of three feet, a width of eight and one-fifth feet. Then it says a depth, the depth is just our length, of two feet. So now you can plug it in. Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals length, two feet, times width, eight and a fifth, times height, three feet. Volume equals, turn it into an improper fraction, two feet times five times eight is 40 plus one, 41 over five feet. Two times 41 is 82 feet squared over five, bring this down now, bring this down, times three feet. So 82 over five feet, 82 times three equals 246, whoop, that should have been squared, feet cubed divided by five, 246 divided by five, equals 49.2 feet cubed. You're going to do the same thing. It says a shipping crate. This time we are going to use the uh, formula volume equals base times height. So on number six, they've already given us the volume. So we already know V, volume equals V times H. It says in the problem, it holds 240 cubic feet. Feet cubed equals, it says the base of the shipping crate is 30 square feet times H. So flip it around. This is a multiplication problem, so you need to do the inverse operation, divide each side by 30 feet squared. 30 feet squared divided by 30 feet squared is just one. That leaves you with H. 240 divided by 30 is eight. We've already used two of those feet, so that just leaves us with one. So it's eight feet. Oh. Yeah, it should just be eight feet. I have an oopsie on there. It should not say eight feet squared. It should say eight feet. So that's what you're gonna do, same thing. Down at the bottom, number seven is just length times width times height. They've already given us that. So you're just gonna work it out. So your assignment is, looks like this. 
Volume with rational links, geometry seven is what it says in the top corner. You're just gonna match them up. Don't worry about the letters here. The letters have, I don't know why they put all those letters there. It has nothing to do with it. Solve each of the equations to the left and draw a line to the solution to the right. After all the questions have been completed, unscramble the remaining letters to find the form, the name of a mystery person. Oh, I didn't do that part. So just draw it, show what your stuff is. It's length times width times height. So use the previous paper and what we've used before to help answer those questions. If they've given you volume, put volume in and you're going to have to do some uh, dividing then.